Hi, hi, many magicians. How are you? Oh, wow. Okay. So today, um, I'm thinking I want to set a set time for these live videos. I first I wanted to see if I could actually do uh, continuous live videos every single morning, right? If you're in South Africa, evening if you're in the States, or just before noon if you're in Thailand. <laughs> and now I see I can. And not only that I can, but I love doing these videos. I mean, I absolutely love them. I love the feedback. I love the inboxes that you guys are sending my way. So thank you. <laughs> and I love that the group is growing. We're almost a thousand five hundred people. This is kind of big for me, right? So if you're watching this because I'm downloading them and then I post these videos on my personal profile and I post them as well on the Wealthy Money page. If you're watching this and you're not part of the Wealthy Money Magicians group, it's really easy to join. Just go search Wealthy Money, Money Magicians and join us. As I do these live if you're watching live or afterwards, just comment, right? So Today's um, video is all about how to achieve your financial goals faster. So, happy Winning Wednesday, hashtag Winning Wednesday. So, I started hashtag Winning Wednesday in the group right after hashtag Ask Tuesday on purpose, right? So, most people love hashtag Ask Tuesday. This is my biggest <laughs> complaint and grief always in the group is that, hey, everyone's so happy to post about what they want on Ask Tuesday and to ask the universe for things, but come Winning Wednesday, nobody wants to post about actions and the actions that they're doing and reflect uh, reflect on the things that are going right reflect on the things that could be going better and this really is the key to achieving our financial goals faster so for most of us we have no problems asking right but we do have a problem opening ourselves up to receiving and an even bigger problem taking action a huge part of this is that we're not obeying one of the crucial laws of being human which is the law of action. So we ask for something, but we need to basically take action to make it happen. In the uh, Live With Intention course, one of the things that I told the students a few weeks ago, and that I also said yesterday in the Money Magicians, um, in the Creating Money Magic uh, course group, was this idea that action is faith, is basically making your faith known. So often we say we ask for this, we want this, but then we're not willing to take action because we first want to see proof that something has happened, right? So the one way that we make our goals come to fruition a lot faster is for us to actually take action around those goals. Now, it's not just about taking action. It's about how we take action. And this really and truly is the key, right? So it's how do we take action? So for most of us, we're not... Um, we haven't become very aware of the actions that we're taking in terms of um, other actions that we're taking actually in line with our vision and with our goals. So if it's like how I mentioned in the um, five day challenge that it's about you taking, um, it's about spending in alignment with your values. When it comes to taking action, it's about taking action that's in alignment with your goals and your vision. So if I say that um, I want to become debt free and I take action around just budgeting but never paying off my debt or getting more information on how to pay off debt or making it all about how do I earn more money in order to pay debt, in order to pay off that debt, then I'll forever, then the, my debt repayment strategies are going to be so much slower than if I had just focused on what the financial goal is and then decided on the actions that I would take and not just taking any action. So, I know we live in this world where it's all about taking action, taking action and being busy, right? That busyness is the most important thing of all. And that's actually not the truth. It's not about 
being busy. It's about taking the right action that's in alignment with your goals. So being just taking action for the sake of action is actually going to leave you energetically drained and actually does lead to plain exhaustion. And sometimes taking action for the for the sake of action actually does uh, can lead us to self sabotage. Okay, so for example, so what do I mean about taking action in alignment with your financial goals? So let's say my big, let me talk about where I'm at right now, right? So my big financial goal is that I want to create passive income so that I can retire, right? So, and at least semi-retire. So then it becomes, uh, then I have to focus more that I've, paid off debt but let's say i still had this goal and i was still heavily in debt my first action would have been to pay off debt now my next action is to what is it my financial goals have to change to align to this big vision that i've got so it's like are my financial goals in line with this vision around passive income and retirement and if not which goals have to change and then i have to look at the current goals that i have and look at my entire business and look is any of this uh, are any of the things that i'm doing in business going to eventually lead me to a place where I can start to allow them to create passive income, allow them to generate um, so that I can start generating revenue without having to actually putting lots of work. And if not, how can I change that, right? And then my actions will be around changing that and making that happen. And then I'll start looking at my investments and look at, are any what kind of investments do I need in order to be able to realize this goal? So yeah, it's great that I've got retirement annuity and all that, but that only kicks in at 55, right? So I can only have access to that money at 55. And here I am saying, oh, I want to be able to semi-retire, have that option, which is really about having passive income before 55, right? So by 36, 37, so probably 37. So how do I do that? Then it becomes how, what are investments that allow me to do that? How much do I need in terms of investments? What am I looking at? What kind of investments, right? So that's a big thing. And then if I'm not in line with which right now I only have one such, uh, well, like, yeah, some things that I do in the business are heading towards that. But in terms of investments, I only have one property. So I sat down, I looked, I said, okay, I have only one property that I know for sure because I've seen how property can actually be that. So how can I increase the property portfolio? What are some things that I can do? I know I can't do it alone. So I've had to go to my sister, sit down, chat with her. Then we're going to put together a whole proposal, talk to other family members. Are you guys interested in this? How would that look like? Things like that. Talk to friends. There's things that I want to do with my students moving forward. I've been talking to financial advisors about different things. So different ideas and looking at what works with where I am right now in terms of my lifestyle and where I'm going. Does this actually fit into the company vision? Does this fit into my own personal vision? And then only do I take action, but I can't just suddenly, and this is where most of us um, fail is that we just take action, right? I see people just say, just do, 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 do. But if you're just doing, then how do you keep track of what's the thing that's actually making the most income to your finances, to the financial goal that you're talking about? So you need to take inspired action. So there's one uh, thing that I love to do, one exercise. So in the Live With Intention course, I get students to ask themselves certain questions. It's it's a really cool course, actually. Um, unlike the Money Magic course, which right now is giving me absolute hell. You can't see it now, but I've been crying for like at least 30 to 45 minutes thanks to the inner child work that I'm doing. But yeah, 
really, really deep, but the live with intention course is really a course designed to do this with students. And I'm thinking of opening it up for my birthdays or birthday gift, but let me think about that and I'll share with you guys when I do make up my mind how that's going to work and how it's going to happen. But anyway, back to the live with intention course. This is a big thing that I ask students to really define what their vision is, then really define what their values are, then really define um, channels and all those things. And one of the questions that I, that I told them that they should often ask when it comes to now that you have the vision and they've done this work around asking, worthiness, receiving, etc., I get them to ask this question, which is, if I was truly in my power and fearless in this moment about this vision, what action would I take? And just sit with that and really meditate on that, you know? And sometimes the action will be so simple. It may be just, I would go get my nails done. I would get a new wardrobe. It doesn't make sense, but it's something deep within us that knows what you need to do to take action. For crying out loud, the last five days that I've done on a scooter around Northern Thailand, just exploring, have done more for me in terms of aha moments and just like wow breakthroughs within that it's just, I can't believe that that was the inspired action that I needed to take which will sound like, oh, that's just me having fun, etc. But what I noticed is it allowed me to do is because I was away from my computer, I didn't have constant internet, it allowed me to just sit wherever I sat and slept for the night to just go deep and do the work instead of avoiding it because the inner child work is so hectic that sometimes I'm scared to do it because I know it will bring up so much traumas that I'm not willing to deal with, that I got to the root cause of a deep to the core of a really deep belief and how and part of my issues around self-sabotage to the point where I've had no desire to self-sabotage anymore Woo-hoo! and actually some really awesome things have happened in the process I've been contacted to do a podcast where I just literally have to show up I'm being asked to do some thing with a summit in Brazil all this happened as I'm on the road, right? And I haven't really even gotten back to everyone, but there's so many beautiful things. And it's not that I haven't been doing the work, it's that the inspired action that I needed to take because every sense or every practical action that I was taking was a self-sabotage action, was almost an action that I could see was blocking me from moving forward and I couldn't understand why. So I needed to press pause and start and really take action from a place of inspired action. So not just taking action for the sake of action. So again, the question that I do ask the Live With Intention students to ask, and I guess I give, um, I'll also get the Money Magic students to ask this, if I was truly within my power and fearless in this moment, what action would I take around this vision? Right. So just ask that. And what I do is I usually get them to meditate for uh, meditate. (laughs) I get them to journal around that for 30 minutes, because in the first 15 minutes, your conscious mind is usually the one writing. But after 15 minutes of just journaling and doing nothing, it's like your subconscious starts to kick in. And even if you write one or two actions, that's it. And you just have to trust, take action and see what happens. And the other thing that I've done is I've created a worksheet for them where I have them do a Sunday worksheet. So I'm going to put them on blast. They don't do the work with this one, right? I'm struggling to get them, the Money Magic students, my clients to do this worksheet. I'm like, this worksheet is so awesome though. You guys have to do it. Like what's wrong? Why is everybody not doing this? But it's a worksheet I use where you basically, it's a way it's a worksheet that teaches you how to align your vision with your actions, right? So you have the vision, the goal, then you look at the financial goal and you basically do a bunch of calculations and inner work around how you can make that those finances come to pass. So for example, if my financial goal is to make a thousand dollars in a week and currently I'm making a hundred dollars, then the work is about how to, how do you change that gap? 
And that's where the interesting things come up, right? It's like where you do the money work. It's like, how do you close that gap? And then your actions will be in alignment with everything to get to that thousand dollars a week goal, right? So it's, it's that <laughs> there's, um, there's nothing much deeper than that. The really deep work then becomes getting rid of the blocks. That's really the true work, you know, and then getting rid of all the things that are stopping you from understanding what that inspired action is because there's so much fear. So yeah, let me know if this makes sense and how, um, what you're thinking about, right? So I'm thinking of uh, having a constant time, which I think will be, um, 10 30 p.m eastern standard time and then um six six or six thirty a.m south african time or 10 or 10 30 uh, p.m um eastern standard time for these videos so then you guys know when to show up for the live videos i'm not just showing up randomly okay thank you so much i hope that this really helps you and you get to do at least one journal prompt, at least start to rethink your vision and where you're falling short. And by the way, this is where I come in as a coach because I help you close the gap and figure out how to do this and make it happen faster so that you're not just spinning your wheels and just taking action for the sake of taking action because most actions that we do, because sometimes we take action and we self-sabotage. So, Tomorrow, um, yes, I've even do. I've started using my one journal to figure out some of the topics that I want to cover because every time I receive questions on inbox, I'm like, oh my god, I want to cover that topic. I want to. I have so many topics now because of these videos where people are asking questions. I'm like, oh damn, can't believe it. So the next topic that I want to cover tomorrow is going to be about the about money triggers right about our triggers around what triggers us to go on an entire self-sabotage mission so i'm going to be talking about the money saboteur so which is a money shadow so bye guys thank you and Nambulelo, you say thank you for sharing align your actions with your goals oh yes and then so that's not the that's not even the difficult part right the part because the thing that is the work is the inner work around why we then don't do that you know we may have the actions what's blocking us from taking the action why we're we blocking ourselves from receiving what we've asked for <gasps> I love this work. Anyway, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day and keep sending me any questions that you have. Post them in the comment section of the video, wherever you're watching this video from. Okay. Thank you and have a fantastic day. Bye.